Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Oh, so I'm back from home time and I already have my load. Um, I'm headed to Ohio right now. I just stopped for a minute because I was hungry as hell. So I put my food on. I'll give you guys a tour um, of my truck, but um, if you want that, just leave me a comment down below. Also, um, I plan on um, showing you guys like a little tutorial of how to work the, um, the tablet. Because a lot of people, like me, when I started, I didn't know how to um, work the, um, the tablet. So, I'm going to do it. Hold on, guys. <laughs> so, um... I'm gonna do a tutorial to show you guys how to use and work the tablet. I'm getting back on the road now. I stopped just for a few minutes. So I pulled off on the, the side because the rest stop seemed to be uh, too far away. So I will be stopping again to use the bathroom, of course. So give me a second to get back on the road and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. I noticed um, last time, last video I posted, um, I believe that was Monday, I'm not quite sure, but um, I have a very informative um, video that I had posted a few days ago, so I'm going to try to be uh, more consistent because there's people leaving me comments, asking me to document my um, trucking journey, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys what you asked for. So um, I'm headed to Ohio. I'm putting on cruise control because... able to talk to you guys without focusing on too much so if I'm not looking at the camera it's because I'm um, driving and I need to keep my focus so um, somebody had asked me um, how was my um, training um, I explained that in my last video so um, I don't know if this is actually going to be a Q&A or what, but um, I answered a lot of questions uh, in my last video, so um, you guys can refer to the last video that I posted. It wasn't even two days ago. So um, somebody else had asked me to also document my um, journey of my locks. So tomorrow is exactly four months. Tomorrow's the 16th of February. Tomorrow is four months. So um, I have a little implant. This was my daughter's hair. This little uh, orange. This was my daughter's hair. And I had some hair that was um, short. So I added this and I added this. So everything else is fine. Oh, this is mine. I did interlocking um, the day before yesterday because the retwist that don't last for me. I still gotta, you know, do my edges or whatever, and you know, do some um, hair color to make my roots black again. So currently, I'm in um, PA, and I'm headed to Ohio. I don't know um, what else you guys want to know because I basically gave a lot of information in my last video. What I can tell you now that I didn't tell you in the other video is um, if you're a new driver, use cruise control, especially for long trips. Because I'm coming from New York and I'm already tired because I didn't really get that much sleep. 
because when you're a mom and a wife and you're going home um, on home time and you haven't seen your kids or your husband or your wife, um, parents, whatever, in uh, a few weeks or months even, you don't really get no sleep because they want to spend time with you. So um, try to get as much of sleep as you can whenever you can because this job is no joke. This is not like DoorDash or doing Uber Eats or Instacart, which I've done already. This is not like that. So um, choose your loads accordingly if you're uh, an owner operator. Try to start out with um, low uh, mile routes, if that makes sense. Like try to get your DM to start you off with 500 miles or less. That'll If you're driving by yourself, like I do with my company, it'll be like um, two days. They'll give you like two days to deliver. So with my truck, the cruise control, it also has um, the driver, what do you call it? It, it? it helps you um, control the steering wheel too. If you're a new driver and don't really know how to um, control the steering wheel. So that's um, also a good thing to, um, to know because I learned that as well. But with the cruise control, they want you to have both hands on the steering wheel. I'm in the mountains, so my ears keep popping. But um, I also wanted to let you guys know that in the beginning, I was so against driving at night. Now, I kind of prefer to drive at night because the roads are like usually clear. And um, another heads up, read all your signs. If you wear glasses, put them on. If you wear contacts, put them in. Do not drive, whether it's in the day or the night, it don't matter. If you can't see, you need to put on your glasses or put on your contacts. Because at nighttime especially, it's dark, you can't see. And in the daytime, with all of that sun like shining in your face and your eyes, you can't see either. So put your glasses on, make sure you read your signs, all of them. Look 15 seconds ahead. Make sure that if you want to switch lanes, you let um, the people know behind you um, what you're gonna do before you do it. Like signal ahead, whether it's a left or a right, always try to drive in your right lane. Whether you um, are experienced or not, driving in the right lane is better because most signs say um, no trucks in the left lane. So if there's three, three lanes, you can usually ride in the um, second and third lane, not the first lane. So um, be mindful of that as well. Um, don't uh, take your phone and put it to your face when you're driving. DOT and the police do not play that. Try to get you a um, one of those truck driver uh, headsets. I have two of them that I got off of Amazon. If you want the, to know like what exactly I got, you can like leave me a comment and I'll put a link down in my um, description to um, let you guys um, go ahead and get you a um, headset. Um, if you got AirPods, do not put both of them in your ears. You need to be able to hear what's going on um, on the roads at all times. Wearing two things to cover your ear while you're driving, especially this big old truck, is dangerous. Always keep your charger handy. Buy a new charger every uh, month or so because these chargers, whether you have an iPhone or an Android, these chargers do not last long. And um, another tip, if you feel that you're getting sleepy, pull over and take you a nap. With your 70-hour um, clock, you need to 
uh, be mindful of your drive time. Um, and if you ever get pulled over by the DOT, they're gonna ask to look at your logs. So make sure you keep your logs updated. Do your pre-trip every day. Um, on my tablet, I have to do um, a pre-trip for at least 15 minutes. And after your 15 minutes is up, you have to do go into your, your DVIR and you have to certify your pre-trip. You have to certif certify your, your tractor and your trailer. That includes putting the license plate for your tractor, your uh, tractor um, number, which is usually on the top of your, um, tr your truck. And then when you go in the trailer, you got to put in the trailer number, which is usually on this side. And um, the, the trailer... Um, which 
is called like a, a downgrade, which is not like a huge downgrade. And um, read your signs because it'll let you know when you're about to make a, a, a turn. So you can prepare yourself. So you can either, if you need to, put both your hands on the wheel so you can control the, um, the truck. And if your load is real heavy, the stopping distance is crazy. I think it's easier to stop um, for me when you have a load. If you have an empty, it's not really so easy to stop. Um, to some people that might not make sense. But I'm going up a hill now and um, the miles per hour is 65, right? But since the the truck has um, has to catch up, it's trying to figure out like what's going on. It's at 55 miles per hour, but I have it set to 62. Cause you're supposed to drive five miles, five to 10 under the speed limit if you're driving an 18 wheeler. Because the posted speed limit, if it says 70, you should be going 65 miles per hour. Um, because that posted speed limit is for cars. Always remember that. And um, when you just starting out, they're not gonna give you a truck that's gonna um, let you go um, 60, no, 70 miles per hour. It's not gonna let you do that. The most you get with cruise control, as a, um, when you first get a truck, is 66 miles per hour. Now with the with the tablet, it gives you directions um, for truck drivers. So that's not the same as if you're driving a regular car, because uh, the height measurements is totally different. With the with the tractor and trailer, you need to be going under um, the the height requirements needs to be 13 feet six inches or higher. If it says 12 or under, you need to stop. Call the cops on yourself and have them back you out of there because you're not, you can't go through there. You're gonna F everything up. Might be yourself too, it's not safe. So that's another pointer. Um, I will, oh, happy Valentine's Day, even though I'm a day late. I just wanted to make sure I said that to you guys. I hope you guys had a good um, Valentine's Day and able to spend it with your families i miss christmas with my family and um new year's for the first time ever i've never been away from my family all my kids my husband um for christmas i was always around my kids for christmas but with this job you're not gonna always get holidays i was lucky to get valentine's day with my family so um be mindful of that too you're not gonna get all holidays oh if you're driving and you see a sign and it says and it's flashing like two lights yellow are flashing and it says something specific read that sign because it's important I already told you guys, read all of your signs. All of the signs are important. If you're going across, um, if you're approaching a railroad, like railroad tracks, if you see the sign, it's two R's with an X in the middle. Always um, slow down a little bit, roll your windows down, listen for um, the train to see if it's coming, look both ways. If you clear, you proceed. Don't be speeding going, um, trying to um, cross over because you will not only probably get yourself killed, but you'll probably scare the train because the train is approaching and it could derail because of you not being smart. Um, also, yeah, leave me comments and let me know what you guys um, want me to um, do next or talk about next if you want me to um, film when I'm at the shipper um, or the receiver like right now I'm going
going to the receiver. So um, if you guys want to see that, just let me know if you need me to walk you through anything. If you want me to show you how to use the tablet, um, any questions on the tablet or whatever, just comment down below and let me know. I would explain everything to you because I'm pretty good now with the tablet. Um, any questions about my job, how many days I work, when, I, when do I go home, ask me anything. I'll uh, be sure to try to uh, make another video and answer all questions. Um, if I don't respond to your um, comments, I'll uh, respond in a video. Um, I'll write them down so I can answer everything at once. So, um, that concludes this uh, video. I love you guys and thank you for being just just rocking with me and being patient. I know I haven't filmed in a while, but this is why. I went to trucking school. Um, I went through training. Um, I had some